What's happening guys and welcome back to another episode of Adventures with Vinny and Friends. Now, I'm a bit over the moon to be honest with how well my TikTok is doing. Put a video on there, within 24 hours got over 20,000 views. So yeah, if you ain't got me on TikTok, head over to TikTok, Vinny, V-I-N-N-I-E. 959 and uh, give us a follow so I'm not magnet fishing today but I did just receive a Facebook message from John aka Magnet Demon himself asking if I want to meet up in town he's thinking of going live on YouTube so I thought why not head into town get a bit of content see what's going on currently walking through the cathedral let's get into town so i'll show you any interesting things along the way before i get into town there you go the almoners hall was the domestic chamber block and hall of the senior monk responsible for the distribution of arms the account book of william morton almoner from 1448 to C. 1462 is of national significance in the history of monastic administration. Cool, that's a mouthful. Yeah, that would have been these buildings here. And just around this corner is the cathedral wall. And you'll probably be able to see the cathedral in the distance just over the wall. There you go. It's really peaceful around here as well. This is set to be another haunted location in, in Peterborough, as well as the museum, Cowgate. So this is locked, which is a shame because I could have gone through there, turn left and cut through to get to Cathedral Square. But I'm going to have to go this way. And... Uh, I'll catch up with Magnet Demon in a sec. And there you go. And this, I've told you before, used to be a horse stable. You used to have the double doors there, open in half and got the steps which are there. So you'll climb upstairs, get on the horse and off you trot. Just goes to show how things change over years and decades and centuries really. And we come across this boulder. Now it's hard to read on that, but this boulder found 30 feet up in corner or core of New Northwest Pier and route stone plinth of Southeast Pier of Central Tower rebuilt 1883 to 1884. The magnet demon is just around the corner over where the archway is 
that leads on to Cathedral Square. Sun is beaming down. It's really nice weather for October, to be honest. And there is the front building of Peterborough Cathedral. And there you go, the face of Peterborough Cathedral, the West Front, 1238. And it still looks the same. And they do coffee and tea in this little place here. Sundays at the Cathedral Restaurant and Tea Room. So there you go, just a bit of information. So here you go, something different, steam on the bus tours. Oh, check that out. That's epic. There you go, just reversing it now. First time I've ever seen one of them. So this dates back to 1922 and it's still running. Immaculate condition to be honest. Steam on the bus tours, Horsham. And yeah, you've probably heard his voice in the background. I've not actually shown him yet, but it is the one and only. Du -du -du. Hi guys. Even. So yeah, we met up, gone around town, filming a little bit of everything, what's happening basically. That old uh, steam bus was pretty cool. So someone tried breaking into the jewelry shop there, Westgate Arcade. You've got forensics and police there. So, just seen production team from ITV and they are filming in For A Penny, the Stephen Mulhern TV show. So this is where the outdoor market has moved to. You've got the fruit and veg stall there. Handbags on that side. And then clothes and bandanas on this side. And then over on this side here, they are doing games, the old Nintendo PS1 games and stuff like that. And on the other side, I'm not sure what that bit's gonna be yet. Yeah, there you go. So there is Craig from Strictly Come Dancing outside Peterborough Cathedral. So you've got a happy Diwali market sort of going on with the stage as well. You've got Happy Diwali happening over here with market stalls, the stage music, and then just over there, 
we have people from church basically worshipping Jesus. So security have a word with them due to what's going on here. In the distance, cars are going all down for the Great North Run. Ambulances on standby in case anyone falls or collapses or dehydrates. But they've got fencing going along all through town basically. So if you're seeing this clip, then you've come to the end of the video. Now I'm going to leave this on a positive side and a happy, happy moment. So most of you know, a couple of months back, I decided to mix Harpic bleach with Tesco bleach. Out of the blue, didn't think it would do anything, but it caused a chlorine sort of explosion, basically. Um, I was rushed to the hospital, so were the kids and the partner. That's after we had three fire engines, two ambulances, and a police car at the address. Obviously, it was a bad accident. I still blame myself for it. Um, obviously, it's gonna sit in my mind for a long time thinking, you know, could have potentially died. The nurse and doctors did tell me if I was in the room longer with the bleach for five minutes, then I probably wouldn't be here. So within saying that, the police, um, I think it was the police, got social services involved due to kids um, safeguarding. Now they spoke to the eldest daughter, spoke to Sancha, um, then they went to the eldest daughter's school and spoke to them, spoke to her on her own and at school and everything. Um, come round, had a look, health visitor come round, had a look. Gave it, it was about a week ago, got a phone call saying case has been closed. So they ain't worried about anything, the girls are absolutely fine. They're loved, they're washed, fed, you know, they're in a happy environment. Other than that, Remember, I will see you again on another episode of Adventures with Vinny and Fam. So take care and I'll see you again soon. Peace.